Hey guys, so I thought I might do an update video today. Firstly, because this channel has recently surpassed 9,000 subscribers. That's amazing. And I don't even know what to say at this point. Thank you. Basically, <laughs> thank you. I have never been more proud and amazed that so many people want to show up and, and hear what I've got to say. So thank you so, so much. Especially thank you to those of you that do not use Adblock Plus when watching my videos because the ad revenue from the Google Ads go to camera equipment and microphones and time off work and, um, and it really does help. So thank you. It also means that um, I can fund this channel and fund the development of this channel without having to go to things like sponsors. I, this channel is a channel where I often recommend software to you and products. And I would really feel that there'd be a conflict of interest if I really started taking um, sponsorship deals and recommending stuff that I wouldn't otherwise recommend. And I have yet to be approached by a sponsor that I'd recommend otherwise so that's why i haven't so far done sponsorships on this channel at the moment i also don't really want to set up a patreon i don't feel this channel is really at that point where where i feel like i can uh, ask you for money for the content that i provide i just honestly don't think that it's it's that good at this stage i intend to get there one day but um today is not that day so i kind of feel like it would be a bit of an imposition to get you guys to pay for something that i i, I don't have that kind of confidence behind i guess but we're getting there we're getting there um so there's a few things i want to talk about uh in regards to this channel um and this is a good opportunity because since the last time i did an update video was a thousand subscribers ago and there are a thousand people here that don't know that i have a vlogging channel link in the description that i have a uh, channel where i talk about flags and memorial achievements that's heraldry so i'll put that link in the description below as well also, um, I'm on Twitter, so I'll put that link in there because, and there is a Reddit for this channel as well. Um, and sometimes I put links up on the Reddit that are not on YouTube and, and not really video specific. So that's a good place to go for, you know, alternative sources of information and even a little bit of tech support if, uh, if you're stuck on something or want to share something with the rest of us. Um, it's a good platform because it means that we're not, um, stuck discussing things in the comment section of a particular video the comment section of particular videos are great when you're talking about that particular video but when you're talking about things uh maybe about videos that i'm going to make in the future or possible videos then the reddit's kind of good for that um and also believe it or not reddit is um it's a, it's a platform that i like to support because it's one of the very few social networks that have opened their source code that's open source so you know go reddit it might have a pretty bad reputation, but uh, but uh, I think there's some value to it. So anyway, that is, uh, that's not the uh, stuff that I want to talk to you about today. Today I want to talk to you about the future and what this channel is going to become next year. Um, you may have noticed that I'm not putting out as many videos as I used to. Um, and I've kind of got some excuses and reasons for that, but they're not really important. Um, what's important is I want to change this. Now back in the day back in the day before this was a tech channel this channel used to pretty much have no direction this used to be my vlogging channel this used to be where i'd come on and talk about whatever the heck it was that i wanted to talk about that day and i made daily videos for i think it about two years and i really enjoyed that i felt um a lot closer to the people that watched the videos and um and i felt that i had really sort of that I was doing really well in regards to the aims that I set myself out. I mean, this channel was originally a platform for me to practice my presentation skills, my public speaking, you know, and um, being able to just sort of confidently uh, explain a concept or a topic um, because it is, it's more, you know, it's, it's one of those things that takes practice. And even to this day, I um and are a lot and I'm far from perfect. In fact, I, you know, I'm not particularly great anyway, but... Uh, but that's what practice is all about, isn't it? So, uh, what I want to do is uh, next year, I want to do daily videos. And that's going to be somewhat difficult now because, of course, January 1st is in the middle of the winter. And in the UK, our day is get incredibly short during the winter. Um, so, filming and lighting is, is it's a bit of a pain. So, I'm thinking that I might do a few more of these style videos that you're seeing now. What you're seeing on the screen is a game called Mine Test, and it's me playing Mine Test. Mine Test 
It's a nice little game. It's a clone, I guess, of Minecraft. It's open source, available on Linux, Mac, uh, Windows, BSD, Open Solaris, whatever you can compile it on, really. And I thought that I might perhaps stick to a more audio focused format and have just something on the screen. So the reason I chose Mind Test for today's video is because it gives you something vaguely visual and vaguely colorful because there isn't really something that I can show you. It's not like a Linux distribution where I can actually show you the taskbar and the windows and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is just a bit of a rambly topic vlog, so I need something to put on the screen. I could put an image, but that's kind of a bit dull. So guys, I guess the question that I'd like to ask you is what element, what visual element can I add to a video for something that doesn't really have an obvious visual element. So mine test is a pretty good stand-in, I guess. It gives you something colourful and vibrant to look at whilst I'm blithering on. But if you have any other ideas, maybe some other games or, or something that's nice and, and visual, I could go out and film something. Um, since I live in the middle of a forest, there's some pretty good natural, you know, nature and wildlife stuff that I could probably get on camera for you. Or I could actually just use this as a, as a, as a way to try all different things and, and kind of find out what's um, you know what's what's visually suitable for a, for an audio focused uh, video blog. And of course, one of the big benefits to not having such a prevalent video element to uh, my YouTube content is that I can focus more on the quality of the sound. I've always been of the opinion that the sound is the most important part of a YouTube video. You can watch a low resolution YouTube video and if the sound's all right, it's tolerable. But if you're watching an HD YouTube video, but the sound is crackly and horrible uh, and unclear, you're going to have a bad time. So it does kind of make sense that I, I would like to sort of maybe take some time to work on the uh, on the audio as well. That's not to say that I won't ever do, you know, my usual videos again. It just really means that I'm mixing things up. And um, it doesn't mean that this is replacing videos as well. This allows me to, to put out more content. So, um, so I just want to be clear with you there. Okay, so I think that's about everything I wanted to talk about today. Uh, but thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Thank you very much for every single comment uh, that you guys have left. Because the thing is... One of the things I'm most proud about with this channel, and I really am really proud of this. I mean, I tell people like that that, that, that aren't really involved in, in in YouTube that only sort of watch the occasional cat video. I t I tell them this stuff, and they think I'm they think I'm crazy for it. But you know, I genuinely am that proud that the comment section of my videos are not only civil, but they're intellectual and they're incredibly constructive. There's stuff that I learned from the comment section of these videos. You know, you guys have, have changed my opinion or educated me on countless things um, based on, uh, you know, what you've brought to the comment section of these videos. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that. I'm sure there are plenty of other people that have, um, you know, that have engaged with viewers of this video um, and had massively, uh, you know, beneficial experiences for it. And, you know, you look at just about any other YouTube channel and you see the comment section. It's a clown show. It's a mess. And I feel that the comment section of my videos are something of an oasis in the middle of a desert of trolls. And I feel that this is one of the very few places on the internet where you can find the, a comment section where people talk to each other with a very high degree of civility and respect and a genuine empathy, like a genuine sense of empathy. And I think that that's something that we I really want to hold on to with this channel. And it's something that I really want to just let you guys know that it's it's something that I really, really, really appreciate. Because, you know, we live in, in a world of Donald Trumps, don't we? I mean, everyone wants to be Donald Trump. Everyone wants to be that person that says something controversial because they don't care who they offend. They don't care that they're an asshole. They get their job done. They're the tough guy. And really, you know, what, what this world needs is people with more than two brain cells to rub together. And I don't mean that in... Well, of course, I mean that in a derogatory kind of way. But I also mean that in a very... Uh, you know, in a very real kind of way in the sense that this world needs people that that are willing to educate people who aren't as knowledgeable. It's not about proving how smart you are, it's about, you know, sharing that knowledge. And the open source community has always had that at its roots because, you know, that's basically how our projects work. And it's one of the reasons, I guess, I feel why this uh, this channel is so successful is because the people involved in it have that mindset of construction. So, so thank you, um, <laughs> because 
if you guys weren't as um, civil and intelligent and constructive and empathic as you are, I'd have turned that comment section off a long time ago. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the 9,000 subscribers. And thank you for watching this video. And um, let me know what you think of the thing that I'm building in, in mind test. <laughs> Is it good? I haven't I haven't actually done it yet. I have um I'm doing the audio first and then I'm going to do the uh do the the mind test later. I might I think I might build a, a house or a cabin, just something nice to start off with. Then I might try and start building Ubuntu logos out of different shades of wool. Anyways, thank you very very much for watching. Um and until next time I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.